Hello my beautiful soul welcome back to my channel I'm Navneet from the Wandering Star Today I was feeling like uh, I have shown my already top 5 tarot decks of 2021 but they uh, most of the decks are not got in 2021 so I thought let's do top 10 tarot decks of 2021 new releases so this deck will be my new releases deck which I got in 2021 uh, so I'm going to show my 10 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 in that particular order, okay? So my 10th deck will be my 10th deck will be the Cosmic Slumber Tarot by Liminal 11. This deck I got in January 2021. So uh, it's a beautiful box. I must say box presentation is perfect. The book is nice cute little uh, guidebook inside it uh, This deck uh, I was not Buying I ordered the Newman Taro Secret Newman. I don't know what happened to the seller. He sent me the cosmic slumber Taro, and I kept with me because I thought maybe it's for me and Maybe my universe want me to keep this tag rather than the secret liminal, uh, the secret, secret tarot. What name? Secret? Yeah, Newman. Secret Newman. Secret White Newman. Something like that. I forgot the name. Anyway, Secret Newman Tarot. White Newman Tarot. So I got this deck. Then I thought, let me send them back. Somehow, my intuition told me, no, no, no. You need to keep this deck. It's for you. Okay. So this is the bag. The cards are quite thick quality card stock. A little bit of glossiness. But less glossiness than modern witch. But this card stock is good. You can shuffle it nicely. So this is very colorful deck. Uh, I got this in 2021. So this is the new releases. I think it came in November, December. Uh because of the COVID, it came late. So for me, it's a new release, 2021. So it came in near 21, right? Just one month or two months back. So this is the White Newman Tarot. A very different kind of artwork. Mm, yeah, very different kind of artwork. And this is more of a kind of universe. Uh, this is hand painting, brushing with color. And it's kind of subliminal state. So it's uh, very colorful. I love the death card in this deck. A bit different. It has an extra card also. Two extra cards in this deck. But I do like this artwork though. I love this sun card. It's quite a busy artwork, if you see. Some cards are very busy. But very colorful and modern RWS based tag. Uh, but some cards are a little bit extra imagery. Imagery like, it's a good quality, I must say. So this is my Cosmic Tarot number 10. My next one is uh, the Osset Gypsy Tarot in a ninth position. This is beautiful cardstock. That's the reason I kept in a ninth position. Ninth, uh, I love the quality of this tag. I love the mages. And I do use mages more than the pip cardstock. It's a pip deck. I'm not into pip. I just kept it because there is also a playing card association with the code cards. So I just kept it. But mostly I use the majors a lot. And they are so beautiful. And look at the look at the artwork. Look at this devil card. Isn't it so fascinating? So attracting. Uh, I love the artwork of majors. So I do love this deck. I love the quality of the card. And beautiful gold gilded edges. Look at the sun. I'm going to show you all my images because it's really beautiful. 
love the color the matte finish smooth matte finish i want to use this for major special i use this day more major like i just love this day. i always got one i two got me i got two majors in kind of deck so i thought this is the best artwork look at the lovers it's really beautiful isn't it look at the death card i love this major and i mean fall in love with this deck because of major and the quality of the card is really good you got a nice book also for this deck which i kept on my shelf so this is the osset gypsy tarot my next one is angel tarot this is the deck i use every day one card reading beautiful colorful guidebook black and white kind okay this deck is new released in 2021 and i love the quality beautiful quality stunning artwork very um uh, liminal um kind of like white and black and gold and bit of red i just love this deck a uh, lot of angelic angel guard archangels are there i think it's quite nice deck i do love this deck every day one card will be fine i think it's nice michael is my favorite i call upon archangel michael and let me tell you he really there he protects me i can I can bet on it because many times when I need help, he's there. I have that much trust and I've seen it. It works. So this is the Angel Tarot. This is done by Travis Mc, uh, McHenry. My next one is Tarot Oscaro. I just got, I think, a few weeks back. I do like this deck. It's very nice, a bit of a mystical kind of a very shadow cell and very deep psychological inside. Very sexual, monstrous kind of deck. I love the part and book is nice. Only I have issue with, I told on my uh, walkthrough, it's not that glossy. It's not that glossy, but I still love it. It's a bit glossy because it's gilded in black. This is my first deck I got gilded. The edge is black. I love the bag. Look at the, it's kind of creepy artwork, but I do like it. I don't have much creepy kind of artwork. <laughs> I do love this deck. I don't know. I was surprised getting this deck, but still it's on my top 10 new releases. It will be there. Look at the artwork. It's so creepy, but still I love it. I don't know why. Look at the artwork. Is it stunning? It's like, yeah, a bit dark. You can walk as a shadow work. It gives me very hard time, by the way, in readings. Straightforward. Look at the two souls. Isn't it? But I do like, I like the back also, look. And it's a brown. It's not black deck. Black color is a bit brown. If you see it. I don't know if you see it. Look at this one. My God. Weird artwork. But I love it. I do like this deck. And it is in my top 10 reading. Top 10 decks of new releases. Very colorful. And very creepy. But still, I love it. I love the Seven of Cups. They are so beautiful women. <laughs> Look at this. I'm going to show just a little bit. It's taking too long. I need to show 10 decks. Very colorful. Nice. Beautiful. Creepy. A bit nudity. Sexual and monstrous kind of dark. I love it. I love the book. It's written very nice. And the box is superb. Magnetic closure. Oscuro means it's dark. It means dark. 
My next one is The Relative Tarot by Carol Paris. I do like the indie version of this deck because of the color. This is a bit light color. The book is nice, the birth chart, blueprint, everything is here. You can try, I have already tried mine. I love it. Uh, soon I'll show you guys. Magnetic closure box. Backs, gold edges, and look, it's very hard to blues. Collage coin. Very ancestral deck. You can communicate with your ancestors. Collage artwork. Wait a second. I'm sorry. Okay. Look at this. The backgrounds are more of RWS. If you see the artwork. Look. Isn't this one? There is two justice, two, three lovers. I think it's uh, this deck work nice. I already worked with it. I don't have much collage decks, but uh, still I keep it because I do like it. And let's see how it works in future also. So this is the Relative Tarot by Carrie Paris. Now comes my top, next top five. After 10, I have completed the fifth. Fifth will be the, the fifth deck will be my, the Wandering Star Tarot by Cat Pierce. I love it. It's, it's a mass market. I think most of the decks are here mass market. Nice book. I love the bag. Uh, it's not gilded like indie deck, but this is very feminine, strong feminine kind of deck. I felt very simple. In the background, you will find the keywords. Very colorful, radiant color. I do like this deck. I was planning to put in a fourth position, but I have a comparison with other deck. So I thought this will be my fifth one. Very radiant. This deck in reading give me kind of <laughs> pain reading. I mean, if I have any pain inside, it shows me what I am, what I'm feeling. But I do like this deck. I really like this deck. Many people say it's the same kind of artwork and faces, but I do like it. When I saw this in indie, I was planning to get it if I got in mass market. Love this one. So this is the Wandering Star Tarot. And everybody knows I need to keep this deck right. That's my channel name. <laughs> okay, I wish they have done in golden like indie. It would be the best one. Okay, in the fourth position will be my Luna Soul. It releases the reprinted. They reprinted but love the box and the quality by Liminal 11. I have a lot of Liminal 11 decks from two years. Okay, this is the guidebook. Uh, they have take out the borders in a new re reprint, but not from the inside. I do like this uh, very uh, palette kind of artwork. A very, uh, a very peace, very calm deck, I must say. A very healing kind of deck this is. So that's why I compared with my Wandering Star. So this will be the fourth one. I do like the artwork. Beautiful pastel colors. This is extra card. Uh, I must keep only one keyword for this deck is the it's a healing deck I must say even the colors match with that healing word do like this two of cups light and dark 
So this is Luna Soltaro. I love the box they have done it. Look, isn't it beautiful? I love the death card. Anyway, after star card, my death card is most favorite. I don't know why. Uh, maybe because I'm Scorpio. So that's why maybe. Okay. My next one is on the fourth, on the third position is the Tarot of Light. The Art of Love Tarot have changed the name the Tarot of Light by Dennis Jarvi and artwork by Tony Carm Carmine. I just love this deck. It's very dreamy kind of deck for me. I was so, look at this. Isn't it beautiful the artwork by Blue Angel? I'm impressed with Blue Angel. They finally stopped doing the glossy card stock. Look at the back. The cardstock is really very smooth. I love it. And I love the color. And I love the artwork. It's really stunning deck. I mean, fall in love with the artwork, especially. Look at the artwork. It's so attractive. It's so gorgeous. And I must say, very dreamy, very intuitive, very uh, universe vibration, positive vibration kind of deck. I'm just feeling like, look at the color and the angels they have used. Oh, look at this one. Tony got a lot of oracle decks, uh, same kind of artwork. I'm planning to get one more to match with this deck. I already match with my other angel drag, but pairing. But look at the artwork. It's so stunning. I don't have words. It's gorgeous deck. Look at this. So deep. I love this page of angels. I think this is the front page of the Ask an Angel Oracle. Look at this. Isn't it so attractive artwork? You will fall deep. I just love it. I'm not going to take too long. This is swords. Blue. Green is pentacle. Pink is the major zakana. Look at this. This is the cup. Yellow. I'm falling in love with this deck, I must say. They have changed the name. Look at this. I am like, what the, I love this card. Look at this one. Kali. The moon. So this is the beautiful tower of light. I love the quality. Very smooth, yeah. So this is my third Number third. Second will be my. I have, I have shown already this box. If you have checked my. You will know what I'm talking about. My beautiful Buddha. My Mary. This is the. They have changed the size, the glossiness, everything. Even the edge. Mary. Matte finish got stuck, and it's my number two. I have to choose between one and two. I was very confused, but I'll show you why I choose this second and that one. Number one, love the artwork. I'm still working. This deck is not so easy to get in one day, it takes time. Stunning artwork. It's new releases means it's reprint. So it's nice. I got it a bit late, so but I'm adding on my new collection. For me, this is new. Look at this. Stunning, very deep, deep deck. So don't take 
one day to go within. So this is my Mariel. Okay, what the hell I did? I'm sorry. I'm going to destroy my edging like that, look like. Wait a second. I like this chariot card. I love my Buddha, by the way. My number one will be the Lettuce Deck Orient Animal Tarot. I know Meryl is more close to one, but this deck, I, I love the book. Colorful and beautiful, quite huge. And the deck, this is also mass market. In Indian version, you'll get a lot of version, a lot of gilding different kind. I love the bag. I love the cardstock matte finishing. I love this animal deck, really. Look at the artwork, dark and light shade kind of, which I love. And uh, I got more connections soon rather than Mariel. That's the reason behind it's my number one deck, new releases. I got this deck just few, I think last week. I think so last week. I love it. Within few days, I'm very feeling strong connection. Love the animal uh, Ambison has used. Oh my god, it's beautiful. Done by Rockpool. I love this. Two wands. Beautiful artwork. And I love animal tag. I have animal tags, but for you, I do have animal tags. I love the way the colors and the dark background. It's beautiful. Isn't it stunning? Love that work. <clears throat> I'm sorry if background people, the children are shouting. It's so beautiful. Wow. Love the color. Look at this one. It's just wow. Perfectly use the animal for each car. Look at this, Emperor. <laughs> so this is the my number one Orient Animal Tarot by Ambi Sun. I love the bag. And I'm happy that on mass market deck bag is more beautiful rather than the indie version. I'm sorry if anybody didn't like it. But I love this one. I love the book it's written. And the box is cool, isn't it? So this is all my 10 top 10 decks of my new release 2021. Thank you guys for watching. Namaste. Uh, see you. Bye-bye. Take care.